Some of our leaders, uh, some of the co-organizers of this Freedom Rally have been chased away by thugs uh, who are hired to come and uh, uh, disrupt to come and disrupt our, 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 peaceful. Our, our peaceful rally. And we are not even sure of the condition of, of, of their some safety of now for yeah. some of our colleagues now because they were chased away. We called it a freedom rally. Our demands were simple. You, we, we, we got our information from the media, some of the investigative journalism that you have done. We know from Premium Times and from uh, The Punch, for example, that there are more than a hundred uh, Nigerian citizens that are illegally detained in the country. Those are the ones that we know. There are many more, and in DSS uh, detention centers, we're not talking about the police, because we all know that over 70% of people in Nigerian prisons and uh, correctional facilities are actually awaiting trial because they've not been convicted of any crime. And so, uh, the, that's the reason why we termed this a freedom rally. To solidarize with the governor of the Mahmoud Bouhari, the security personnel, especially the DSS, what they are doing is commendable. We are here to appreciate them. And the Human Rights, uh, Human Rights Commission to stay away from issues that has to do with national security. Our demands were very clear. Stop violating court orders. Stop undermining the rule of law. Stop your attack on the judiciary. And please release all the illegally detained. Uh, 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 political prisoners and, and uh, prisoners of conscience in the country. And particularly, we ask for the unconditional release of uh, the three political prisoners, uh, Shore, uh, Shore and Jalingo. And we are holding the state responsible for anything that happens to DG today because it was before us here now that, 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 that they did that. Intentional, you see the other people that were here to protest, they started insulting the people that came here. That was why they started. Uh, uh, that's what our people see. That why will they be insulting them? So it was not violence. We are not here for any mission. We are not targeting an anybody. We are also worried that there is a deliberate and calculated attempt by some people who are beneficiary of state-sponsored violence to continue to orchestrate violence against Nigerian people. And the example is what we have seen today. We came here today peacefully to give the demands again to the custodian of our rights, which is the National Human Rights Commission. Now, the next steps are very clear to us. Into the new year, and in January, there's going to be another protest. Today, this rally is taking place in Abuja and in Lagos. 
in January, in early January, we are going to continue if those demands are not met. We are going to continue and we are going to expand beyond Lagos and Abuja. We are going to include three other cities. And that's the way we are going to be escalating these freedom rallies. We have.